Hello guys and welcome to my first proper YouTube video in a while. I know it's a real controversial topic but please stick around if you're a new fan, old fan, Halo fan or not. Please we've got some really exciting news from the Halo Infinite tech test and I want to share my thoughts about the Halo Infinite Battle Royale potential leak. So let's get straight into it guys. So during the technical test, there was a few leaks, a few campaign leaks, um, which I haven't looked into. I don't want to spoil it for myself. But one of the most interesting leaks was the announcer um, saying Battle Royale. Now I'm going to leave a link to it. I don't want to get a DC, uh, DMCA strike from 343. Um, I'll leave a link to the post on Twitter. You can hear it clear as day. The announcer says Battle Royale. And of course, then this splits the community again, whether or not Halo Infinite needs a Battle Royale to survive and why it doesn't. Personally, I'm a fan of Battle Royales, um, and I'm going to give you a few instances here why I think Halo Infinite might be getting a Battle Royale, whether it's going to be added in a later season or not. Um, but let's jump straight into it, guys. So first of all, Halo introduced a different type of campaign this year. It's going to be a fully open campaign. You choose where to go. Um, you choose what missions to do first, but the thing that gets me excited is look at the size of the map I'll slow down a bit of footage here The map is huge and there'll be such potential there to make a battle royale map um, With locations and spawn points during the map of course being on the halo ring itself From the early campaign footage we got last year we can see clearly the size and scale of this map perfectly fits into a battle royale formula um, I'm not going to say there's no reason why they couldn't have added just uh, story driven um, missions like before but I think this open world um, map design clearly points in the direction of a potential battle royale coming in either from launch or in a potential future season. So the next sort of clear evidence we have is the Halo Infinite tech test allowed you to go into the academy training drills and just use melee and that's the first Halo ever to allow you to do that um, if you just drop all your weapons in multiplayer or just don't pick up the weapon um, you've a double fist in melee and whether or not this is going to be a part of the Halo campaign we don't know yet but I just think it's kind of strange that they've introduced this in Halo Infinite point here from the stream just before the tech test demo um, I'll let you I'll let you listen to this clip from the developers themselves talking about how weapons and vehicles are going to work in Halo Infinite. It's going to be slightly different than what we're used to, and I think this could work well with Battle Royale. Concept, those feels you had, you know, playing the play, playing the previous games, and just turn the volume up. Vehicles are no longer just spawning at bases anymore. We have pelicans delivering them, and we have a commander in your ear telling you that pelicans are going to be dropping off these vehicles. Scorpion tank is inbound. We have. Halo 2 style Delta Halo mission weapon pods that fall from the sky to resupply the field. That's where it makes it feel like, like a real battlefield and, and it's very exciting. Guys, I don't think Halo Infinite needs a battle royale to survive, but like I said, I am a battle royale enthusiast. I love the gameplay, I love the loot and shoot style, um, but I just think with these certain things that have linked up, the no gun melee, the big massive open map, the announcer actually saying Battle Royale in some of the files and also this different way of spawning in vehicles, spawning in weapons would be good like for a care package system. Uh, I just don't see why they wouldn't do it in a future season if the drive and if the people would be there. It's a, It would be a free thing, they have the assets, they have the manpower, they have the funding, why wouldn't they do it? You know, It would bring a lot more population in but Halo Infinite looks like it's going off to a positive start anyway. Guys, please let me know what you thought. If you're a fan of Battle Royales, please let me know why you'd like it in Halo Infinite. Um, if you don't want it in Halo, again, it's all valuable options. Let me know why you wouldn't want it in Halo Infinite. And if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. I also am going to be streaming Halo every day um, as soon as it comes out. So please, guys, follow me on Twitch. And I'll see you next time.